bottom. So big boys on the loading dock can take it like this and roll this dock. Okay? Wait. It's virtually impossible to roll it upside down. To grab it and to hold on to it. Okay? There's only one indentation on this side, and that is so you can do this. If without that, it sucks. Okay? If you have this here like this, with your little finger, you can tilt your other hand, right? Real roly poly, right? On the other hand, tilt like this, straight like this. The bottom is bigger round than this. It has hard edges. If you're going to set it up on three bricks so that you can come out the bottom of it to do something, do you want it for a kid to walk over and tip it over? Right? Yeah? Really, really easy, right? You know, balance up? Or do you want it on a hard lip? If your assignment is to cut a hole like this so that you can get into the thing, you know, either put filter or fish or to net the fish up, Notice how here, when you put the jigsaw up, the jigsaw can go around. And when you cut a jigsaw, it's going to swing wide on you. Okay, going around, all the way around. When you do that, on here, you've got no obstructions to you going all the way around. You can do it any diameter. I normally do it right here to this hole. You know, I said, well, here's a circle, right? But otherwise, set a bucket up and whack it out, right? Try doing the same act on this side. The biggest hole you can make is here. Right? Okay. So you got yourself a little hole. Any attempts to go into this is a disaster. All right? If we're making drums for people to cut in half, notice that the temptation for people when they cut these things in half, they give you a seam line. It's molded across there. When we want to cut it in half, being lazy, we like to follow this line all the way around with our saw to cut them in half. Don't do it. Okay? If you do it, you cut these in half. You know how dramatic it is when you hit that with a saw? You think the half stay in there? No, they go flying across the room, right? And it's really about ugly, right? And you don't have a clean edge. So here's the deal. Cut it this way. Take yourself a square, use the line, and draw your thing there. Different tricks is put this up on something, <coughs> on a board, a table, anything, shim it. Put a level on here to where this, if this is leveled this way, it's straight this way. What's the point of that? When you draw over here, you give yourself a mark, hang a string, and then draw it. It'll be 90 degrees to your drum, and that's your new line. Don't take the line. Here's my advice. Don't do the line 90 degrees this way, and don't do it 90 degrees that way. Do it 45. The reason we want to do it 45 is, see the little dimple there? The dimple is getting your way. Notice